So the stage is set and the NBL Canada Finals will feature the defending champs, the Windsor Express, versus the Kings of the East, the Halifax Rainmen. Both teams have played some fantastic ball up until this point and have dominated their respective conferences, so it's only fitting that these are the two remaining squads left standing. The Express finish with the league's best record at 21-11, and, and the Halifax Raymen are returning to the finals for the second time since the inaugural season. This series will also feature last year's Head Coach of the Year in Bill Jones versus the 2015 Coach of the Year, Pep Claros. The pathway that both teams took to get to the finals was similar in the sense that they both won their opening round best of five series in four games. Moncton shocked the Rainmen faithful by stealing game one on their home floor. However, Halifax then dominated the next three games by an average margin of 13 points per game. They needed five contests to take the storm out in the next round, and they did so by an average margin of victory of 10.5 points per game. Windsor got the playoff started with a matchup against the Mississauga Power, and they took the first two games at home rather easily. They got a scare in Game 3 when Toot Roush exploded for 48 points for the Power's first ever playoff win. But things were under control when they closed out the series in Game 4, and they moved on to face the Brampton A's. This series went the distance, and Windsor found themselves in a 3-1 deficit, but fought their way back to take three straight, including a dramatic Game 7 victory. Looking at the postseason numbers thus far, Halifax has had the higher shooting percentage, with much of their production coming in the paint, and as a result, they scored a bit more. They've also dominated the offensive rebounding category. Meanwhile, Windsor has had excellent ball movement, particularly from the guard position, and have a higher assist total. The Express have shot the ball better from three, and they have shooters on their roster that Halifax can't afford to get hot. When you look at how these teams have fared against each other in the regular season, there's not much that can be gleaned from the numbers. Both squads defended their home court in rather lopsided victories. The Express held Halifax to a record-setting low of 68 points in their first meeting, with the Raymen only scoring 29 points in the first half. Both Chris Commons and Gary Gibson were out of the lineup for the Express due to injury, and Liam McMorrow hadn't suited up for the Rainmen yet. They met again for the second time on February 8th, and the Rainmen evened up the score when they hosted the Express at the Scotia Bank Center. They beat them by 29 points and gave them their worst loss of the campaign. Expect this to be a very competitive and physical series. The Windsor Express and their fan base strongly believe that this is their year to repeat as back-to-back -back champs, while the Rainmen believe that they're the best team period and look to finish a job they left undone when they made their first trip to the finals. For your complete finals coverage, visit Playoff Central at nblcanada.ca.